Hello again, this is Oliver and welcome back to yet another video, short video where I explain different analysis techniques for Sudoku. If you like my videos, be sure and give me the thumbs up and you might think of subscribing as well, be greatly appreciated. In the previous video, I said I'd come back and show you an example where there are two cells in the fin as opposed to a single cell. And I came across this partially completed Sudoku puzzle and I just noticed actually as I opened it up there, um, there's a small X-wing here that you could use because uh, there's just two fives here, two fives, two fives. I like to do any place where there's just two and no more and uh, make them a dark black, it makes it easier to find X-wings. And based on that, we can get rid of uh, this one here. And that makes it double here to there, to there, mm, doesn't do anything. Okay, that was just by the way. Let's get back to what I wanted to do and that's a double fin sashimi X-wing. Sounds nice. And what I noticed is here we have two fours, handy enough. So now we want to find two fours in the same place. And as we go up, um, even if we found one, <laughs> and then work out the other one. Um, uh, no, this is the only one that looks possible. So if we have a four there, and if there was a four here, we'd be okay, but there isn't. But the extra fours on this row are all within this segment here. They're within this house. So that makes it a suitable candidate for a sashimi. So we have this is our base row and this is our second row and our targets are going to be then in the columns. So our two targets are basically this one and this one. Right, so the fins are here and here because the fins are in the same orientation as your base and the base was a row, the row here. So these are our fins. Now, as I said before, when you try to work out, you start off with your fins and you say, well, what happens if they're, they're there and what happens if they're not there? Well, if there are no fins there, right, looking at row D, then we can see that there's only one four remaining in row D. That's in D9. So we must have a four here. If there's a four there, then we do not have a four here. If we do not have a four here, then we must have a four here. And that four means that both of these are off. That is if these two are not there. The other option is that this one is a four or this one is a four. One or other of them must be a four then. Well, if either one of those is a four, there'll be no other fours in this house. So this one and this one cannot be there. So with this sashimi, what we know is these two are not valid subjects for being a four so we can get rid of those gone gone and that's it so it's really quite quite simple and you use exactly the same logic if it was a double double fin x-wing all right they're really quite simple to do the biggest problem is trying to see them and that is that you're no longer find two and then go up and find one somewhere and if you can't find it's it's relative one over here. See if you have a segment that will do it. Okay, that's it. I've said enough and uh, see you again tomorrow. Slán Tamil.